Hello and welcome to my video about the PCB assembly for auto steering for a tractor. So, my name is Gorm and I would like to show you this uh, PCB I have uh, designed and you can order completely SMD assembled, uh, for example, at uh, DLC PCB or any other PCB manufacturer you like. So when you order this PCB for uh, roughly uh, about uh, $35, you get it like this. Uh, it's nearly completely assembled with SMD parts and you see some of these parts are missing. And especially three groups are missing. One group is, uh, for example, it's the only one is the NXP controller, which is not available at uh, GLC PCB. Uh, the other group in general are connectors like uh, this one here you only need for this uh, NXP controller and uh, the USB-C which is uh, of course a pity because this one is a uh, very uh, high density and it's not really easy to assemble it by hand. And the third group um, which is missing is uh, the ones which are not on stock at GLC PCB at the time you are ordering. So. I had bad luck and so for example this uh, USB hub was not available and so I had to solder these uh, parts uh, by myself. So after you have uh, assembled the missing SMD parts you can assemble the uh, connectors here and uh, with that you have two options. You can use uh, these uh, industrial connectors with uh, push-in contacts here and um, you can also as an alternative use uh, industrial grade M8 and M12 connectors like this board. The idea behind is uh, that this fits in this uh, housing here like that and so you can, can connect uh, the power supply here, you can connect the wheel angel sensor, um, the uh, um, inputs, the digital inputs, you can connect to um, a rooftop unit for um, GPS or GNSS, you have the motor connector here, you have a two can if you like, and you have a connector for Modbus RS485. This is the full options you have and on top you have the two USB-C connectors. So the one where you get the power from your charger and the one which connects to your tablet. The same is possible with the push-in connectors like this. So we have the same options as you have for the M8, M12 here. You have with these connectors and you have pretty much the same possibilities with it, that board. It's, so it's up to you what you prefer. If you prefer industrial grade M8, M12 or this uh, also industrial push-in connectors. So the minimal assembly you have to do is this one. But this is still pretty much for com a complete auto steering which with all you need. So including a motor driver and uh, the Arduino Nano part and the USB hub here. And so let's uh, do an initial startup with this board. So the first thing we need is uh, power of course and uh, I already made a, an adapter here which I connect to the power plug here and then to the lab power supply for testing. It's also always nice to have a lab power supply where you can limit the current in case something has gone wrong while manufacturing. And when you... So first you start with a small voltage of course and then you switch on. And when you go up with the voltage at about um, 4.5 volts the uh, switch mode power supply starts to operate now now it's operating so it's about uh, four and a half volt 
and so you can see that you have uh, the 5 volts power here and the 3.3 volts power here. So we go up a little bit, uh, so in my case uh, let's say about uh, 8 volts, and you can see the three uh, uh, power LEDs, the white power LEDs lighting, and this one is uh, for the entrance. This doesn't matter in that case. So what you have to do next is um, flash the um, bootloader of the Arduino. So for that um, you have uh, you need an Arduino Uno and uh, follow one of the many instructions you find in the internet about how to to flash the bootloader. So you need some uh, breadboard cables and uh, put these breadboard cables to this connector here and then flash the bootloader. Then you disconnect all the things again and you connect to USB Where is it? this way and you can uh, flash with the uh, software from uh, Brian T, the Arduino software for the auto steering. And what you see when you connect to the USB is uh, that uh, here the USB hub displays all um, devices which are connected to this, this hub, which is the Arduino and uh, an option for the um, RS485. Another option to use a Benef uh, um, GNSS receiver and <coughs> You have a further option to connect, for example, an Ardu simple board, which you can place on top here. So with that, uh, you can, as I said, you can program the software for the Arduino and also connect to the like, Open GPS software on your PC. I am no farmer, so my switchboard is like that, and I can plug it here. And you can see if you switch on and off, you see the status with these two LED, three LEDs here. And these are to switch on and off uh, the auto steering, as you know from uh, Brian's excellent software. So the next I need is a wheel angel sensor, and my one is this one here. I plug it in this uh, one here. Okay, and of course I need a, a motor, a steering motor, and my one is this one here. I put it in this connector here. So, and uh, I can demonstrate how to use this connector. So, you, when you want to remove a wire, you can you need a screwdriver and push on this uh, push-in connector. And for connecting, you simply press it in. That's all. So now we have all connected to the PC and uh, let's do a first test. So first of all we connect to the right serial port and uh, when I press connect you see the numbers are moving here and when I move the wheel angel sensor you see the <coughs> Value, the analog value is uh, increasing and decreasing. When I switch uh, any button, you see the number at uh, the left side switching up and down. Okay, so let's uh, make a test with the motor. Okay, the so software now is uh, for auto steering and the first thing I have to do is to unlock the emergency, emergency stop button. And then uh, you see the second white light is uh, lighting here, showing that there is a power to the motor control unit. And now when you turn the wheel angel sensor, you see that the motor is uh, either direct, uh, pushing either in the one direction or the other direction. And you can also see on the screen uh, the same the angels and the arrows as you know it from AG Open GPS. 
And that is pretty much all about this PCB. So um, maybe it's uh, interesting to say that uh, there are LEDs for all inputs and outputs. So here you can see the data flowing to the AG Open GPS and, and back. And um, so here you have the uh, putty value. So uh, when you turn the putty, you see it's uh, the LEDs uh, getting brighter and darker. It's just a rough indication, but it's uh, nice to have it for, for failure checking. And here on this side, you see the motor moving either in the one or the other direction. So that's uh, all for that day. I wish you uh, good luck with your board. And uh, um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the discourse uh, forum for AD Open GPS. And see you soon. Bye.